Hello, my name is Hunter. Today we'll be starting off with osmosis. Osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules through a selectively permeable membrane. A solute is a molecule that is too big to fit through the membrane. A solvent is also the more numerous amount of molecules. If there is more sugar, a solute, on one side than the other, the water, a solvent, will pass through to try to dissolve the sugar. This can happen when you pour some sugar in your iced tea when you need just a little bit more sweetness. As you can see in the model behind me, the solvents are surrounding the solutes in an attempt to dissolve or mix the water and sugar together. Also, solvents will always travel to the side with the most solutes, but never leave a side with no solvents. High concentration is when there are more molecules on one side than the other, which is low concentration. Next, we'll be talking about active transport. Active transport is the movement of materials through a cell membrane using energy. Active transport can also be looked at as the downside of cells because it uses one of our hard-earned ATPs. One method of active transport is to use an ATP to make protein channels, force a molecule like potassium into its cell. Another method is to send out part of the cell membrane to create a vesicle and escort it through the opening. This only occurs when the cell membrane has no protein channels. The final way is to have the cell membrane engulf the particle. It then pinches off from the rest, connects, and forms a vacuole in the cell. Also, we'll be discussing passive transport. Passive transport is the movement of materials through a cell membrane without using energy. Passive transport is when the particles go from an area of high concentration to low concentration. This is also called diffusion. Low concentration is the area of fewer particles. High concentration is the opposite of that. Passive transport is used when the cell doesn't need any more or any less particles. Lastly, select selectively permeable. Selectively permeable is a property of cell membranes that allow some substances to pass through while others cannot. Selectively permeable membranes can restrict and allow certain things in and out. It is to let things in and out by their shape and size. For example, if you try to walk through a chain link fence, you won't fit no matter how much of a diet you're on, but creatures like a fly and bee can get through it no problem. Why is that? Think of a fence. Like a selectively permeable membrane, the bee is the right size and can travel in and out as much as, off, as, much and as often as they'd like. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.